y'all know what day it is. Today is Thursday, as you can tell by this big, gigantic Mack truck. So let's do it. going on morning morning it's almost a weekend thank goodness yeah finally <laughs> definitely finally i'm ready for it it's been a uh, cooler this week but it sucks still. it has been nice i'm ready for some of them 60 degree days myself it what was it sunday night it, it dropped down to 75 mm -hmm. or something like that nice. that night Man, it was nice. I went to let the dogs out and turn around and told them in the house. I looked at my wife and said, hey, bring me a coat. It's cold out here. <laughs> so I'm not used to this. Oh, man, you got everything full, looks like, again. Oh, yeah. Got enough hammers to rule the world. You know, get all your flyer stuff in. Uh, I've gotten some of it, but I'm still waiting on a good bit of it, actually. Oh, yeah? It, uh, it's kind of slowly dribbling in. You'd think they'd have plenty of flyer stuff on hand when they released the flyer, because they know months and months ahead of time when it's going to be. You would think so. so, but it usually never falls that way. Well... That's true. So, well, what all new stuff you got? That's that bit new bit set that we were talking about. It's the RBRT bits. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's the exact same RBRT bits that are in the 121 piece kit. Right. But if somebody don't want all the screwdrivers or anything like that, right. or they just want like a bit set to put with their gunsmith kit at home, mm -hmm. or you know something like that, I said, this is a real neat deal. Um, and the neat thing is, all your bits are sitting in there. Won't fall out. And they stay where they're supposed to be. Nice little, like a Pelican type case or something. You know, I mean, it's seals up good. And then if you don't want to keep it in the case, all the foam tray comes out. That's cool. You just take that foam tray and put it wherever you want it. But That's a nice little set right there. Got everything in it. It's got some of your tampers, torques, and then your torques, and ball allens, and regular allens. And it's got torques, allens, triple squares. Cool. Square bits. Boy, I'm some tiny little fellers right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Golly. <laughs> but. The nice thing is, too, I mean, if somebody is wanting all the bits, but they don't want the other stuff, because, I mean, that the 121 piece, I mean, it's almost 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. So this is like 170 So. That's cool. Got about everything in it. It's a nice alternative option for if you don't want the big set or. True, true, true. Need it in a smaller platform or whatever. Right. That's a. That 121 piece set is my favorite set. Like, man, that thing covers everything. Covers it all, you know. It's even got Phillips and flatheads. Mm -hmm. So, that's yep. good. And, uh, I tell you, since you did that quarter video, I, I hadn't been able to keep those <laughs> quarter inch. You know, Joe impacts. ended up having somebody trade one in. I saw that. And uh, I think he sold it for 125 He said he had like 40 people call him over that. <laughs> I was like, dang God. I'm surprised somebody traded it in, to be honest with you. I am too. So. They must have traded it in before the video. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because everybody's been wanting it. And, uh, I know there's been a bunch of guys reaching out to me wanting to try to get one. They're, they're nice. Yeah, they're yeah. real nice. I wish they'd come out with a three eighths version of them that's you know, the same DeWalt gun, but make it a Mac instead of a 
you know, oh. I've asked and asked on that. I don't know if it's in the making, if it's something they want to do. You know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They should. Therefore, you got all the chemical compounds on it. Yep. That is true. All the sealed ports and... That yellow is hard to keep clean, man. Gosh, oh, yeah. Dang. Like that little quarter inch. I took a picture of it the other day after we used it, and it still looked okay. It mm -hmm. had a little bit on the red, you know, but that damn yellow one, you can lay it down on a toolbox and that thing's dirty. <laughs> I use more tub of tiles on it than I do. I, I never thought about on that Mac one. It's like wearing a white T-shirt to go change oil in a truck, you know. Yep. But another neat little thing I got in. Um, I've always had my Mac swivel. Mm -hmm. you know universal sockets um expert has finally put some out now cool they're pinless uh they are because all of the mac ones are not pinless they still got the pins in them oh that's convenient i like them pinless ones yeah they got the mm-hmm hex style on the inside of it a little baby little bitty tiny baby rail mm-hmm that's neat looking yeah. those are nice and they're a lot more affordable a set too so right that's kind of i know there were several people wanted the part number of that expert set one guy sent me a text he said what is it i want to try to get out to michael i'm like I don't know. We didn't, you know, that big expert set you showed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they I wanted a part uh, number on it. They wanted to order one. I'm like, I don't know. I have to get it because I didn't. Even I didn't even think about us showing the box about on the it. Part number on it. Um. Okay, I can get that. I had, I had, had to remember who I sold it to. I know I got one at the shop, but I want to make sure I look up the right, right one. And you got plenty of expert stuff. I didn't know y'all had those little super shallow sockets like that. Mm-hmm. The I've stubbies? Got, yeah, I've got the Astro Nano sockets that are made like that. Expert pipe wrenches. Y'all servicing plumbers now? <laughs> <laughs> I still got some equipment, guys, that buy some pipe wrenches and maintenance departments man with nipex like they are now i don't care nothing it about, about no kills a pipe wrench i don't care nothing about no pipe wrenches that kit was a that expert kit from the last week was e0348358 dash us okay well there you got it now y'all know yeah, I don't, you sell many pipe wrenches now? I still sell, you know, a couple of months. All right, I guess if that's what a fellow wants to use. I'd be like, give me a big pair of them Nipex, that way <laughs> I can use it for more than one thing. But people are like that. They, uh, I guess they still have their place in the world, you know, I don't know, but. Y'all yeah. sell the, the Nipex version of the pipe wrench, don't you? Don't y'all have those? It's the, um. Swedish pipe wrench yeah. is what they call it. Yeah, I believe I have some of those back here. I know there are several people asking about that, uh, that's the best one ever made right there. That thing is fabulous. I was asking about the part number two on those um, snap ring pliers that you showed, the push button type that mm -hmm. change easy. And there's several people wanting some of those. And asking about them, I was like, man, I can't believe we showed that many things and didn't do a part number. Part numbers on it. Cause All right, so there it is, a PK-9RRP 
B. And that was the push button style. Yep. All righty. So that'll get you guys covered on all the part numbers and that stuff. Man, we usually show them. I don't know what happened that day. <laughs> Another little neat set I got in. We'll start Six, out with a part number this time. Yeah. We don't miss it. 69 piece ratcheting bit set. Uh huh. It's just got some of your longers, your Phillips, your flat, a couple of torques, and right. mid lengths and shorts. and. Is that. That's not RBRT. It there. is not RBRT, yeah. no. No. Man, Max gonna have to put that stuff like that super cheap for guys to keep buying the regular stuff because if it's anywhere close to the same price, I don't see why anybody would buy regular over RBRT. You know, I have... In the beginning, I fought the battle of getting people to spend the money on the RBRT. Um, but once you get a couple guys in a shop to try it, yep. it it's sells itself, yeah. you know, then everybody comes back, Hey, you got them fancy, you know, them fancy <laughs> ones that they've been buying, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, uh, well, people tell me all the time, everybody's confused. They're like, well, I don't really deal with that many strip ones. You don't have to use it for strip. That's why I say, I said, how many times have you took a good fastener? you know, like a hex, and you put a good hex bit in there, and it's tight and it rounds out. Oh, well, that's just part of it. I said, no, that's not part of it. <laughs> if you buy the RBRT, that's going to keep that from happening. I was like, it is what it is. So, um, And in the beginning, when it first come out, I was under the understanding at first, I guess I didn't pay attention at Tool Show the first year it was released. Well, I think that's kind of partially Mac's fault because they kind of pushed everybody that it was four rounded fasteners and, and it is, but they forgot to mention, Hey, if you use it to start with, it don't round them off. So I use think the right was, tool the first time, I guess, I guess that goes back to the education part of it. They didn't properly educate people on it because you know, they sold it as to take out rounded ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, now we know, and uh, people's starting to use them to start with, and it helps. Saving a lot of headaches. Absolutely. Um, well, I guess I'm look around a little off camera, see what I need, and get you paid, and get my butt in there and actually do some work today, which sucks. It's too close to Friday to do a whole lot. <laughs> I treat it. All right, guys. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take your finger and you click that button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you later. See ya.